We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know... Insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking, Ward. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here? I'll skin this fat old coon, serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Uh, no! <laughs> Over here! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we, we do more, more than just hunt. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Alright. I wasn't about to do this mission, but I fucked around and got too close to them arguing. So, here we are. I guess. But I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Oh, where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alien. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, reading that man mail. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- no, Bitch, put that gun away! Shoot. What you doing? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. It's tripping. What did you get there, Harold? Oh. 
talk. Watching them. Oh, you watching them, motherfucker. Help you Post, man. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, <clears throat> no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Man, let's get back to the whack on. <coughs> Bitch. Talk ass. Newborn has more strength than you and he came out bright blue. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Try harder. So I heard a new fit and shit. Let's go on. Oh, we still wait. Never mind. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't oh, ask for goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Get up. Oh, let's so, go. you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars. Excuse me, y'all. I, I just had to give me some biscuits. I realized my health was a little low. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I owned got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the cam cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider, Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Pay a toll? Are you trying to give me to pay a hood pack? So. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Oh, what I don't, bitch. That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Shit! Come on, go, 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 bitch. You the one driving. to shoot the horse. Sorry, horsey. I'm sorry. Pull his ass over. That's what I'm talking about. I tried to shoot him, but they wouldn't even let me. Get your ass down, Paul. Got his ass in the back. Let's go. Man, how many bullets you gonna take? You are enjoying this far too much. There, see? Hell no, ain't gonna be no running. Nah, oh, don't run. Damn that. You can drive us back when I'm done with this motherfucker. Where you go? Wait a minute. Damn that. Oh, bitch. It's your punk ass. Ask me. Ask me if I got my hood pass on. Why? 
Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. There ain't shit we can do about it. They pulled up on us. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, won't you go upset and Pearson about that letter? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. Deny the balls. Mm -hmm. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, that I say up? I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. That's what I'm saying. The pants is nice. Well, I'm saying I see you, Miss Adler. Yes, Lord. All right. Um, next mission. Yes, Mr. O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? No, I mean, Mr. how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything. So. Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can rest my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your self face. If you say so, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Get it. Come on, then, you miserable We're heading right back out on a new mission. Let's go. I love when the missions are quick. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. She. You see, gentlemen? I'm killing everybody inside. Let's get it. Stop the wagon! It's a stick-up, motherfuckers. We said stop. I wonder what would happen if I just blow their motherfucking heads you know, off boys, right I, here. I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, Lord. So you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's 
rich enough to share the wealth around, and not miss it. So hold, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. money back there, okay. Shit! Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go, Parker! Let's go! Yeah! Why would you yell my name out? You stupid bitch. Alright, let's go. Alright. You just gonna yell my name out of shit, like Oh the Royals go! Face that. Nice going, Most garbage wagon in goddamn history! You do it though, you know. Stop for a second, cover us. Where the hell are we going? Get out of here! What kind of dumb witches? Get out of here! 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 I think Bill might have got that last one. Who's still on us? We out. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just shut up! Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get him back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't. Right, little bird. Literally, there's nobody behind us. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Let's let's hide in here. Quick. Yeah. Let's see later. All right. Let's get out of sight. All right. Stay until dark. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you, you keep, keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Why well, Charles gotta keep watching now, though? I feel like, personally, it should be Uncle, since this was his job. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn! Hey, right, let's just keep this going. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, I. Why don't you just tell me part of what you heard? I. Tell me what you heard. Uh, uh, excuse me. Ooh, hello. Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Maybe you heard some voices. Hey, me. Better not be. Alright. Cooper, Cooper Forth. What type of name is that? The barn. Sir. Lord, they comings. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. The place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Bucks! Place is empty! Shit! Man, god damn. What a shot of you. Get in hell, boys! Man, who? Bitch. Now. We got more of the bastards. Hey, hey Charles, side. watch where you aiming that shit now. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. More on the right here. <laughs> this fella really might get wrong. Your ass done. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. Your ass done. I'm probably. Oh. Here you go. Middle 
using that time. Nicely done, Bill. Get the repeater out. Did you back move in the army too? Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. Oh, I saw somebody over here. Poke your little head out of the over there. Shooting back. You gotta try to lose shit. Well, Uncle said he was faking. Miss Corwall ain't gonna be happy about this. Oh, fuck. Bastard. Get I should let him kill your ass. Well, boy, you having fun? Fun yet? Now, why would you do that shit when I got the gun? I got the knife out and shit. Oh, just stay in there, why don't you? You're making an old man suffer. Uh oh, feel it, old boy. They just quiet as us. Guess we should go give my. Quiet as us, bro. It's like. Look here. Shit, 
outside of your shit. Y'all ain't killed a horse, did it? I can't say shit. I killed. I killed a horse. I think last video. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, John. Stay quiet and move. Ooh, we got nine hundred dollars, sir. I'll take that. What? I I got a hundred and twelve dollars for all that. My damn horse at. A witness? Hey, 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 hey! You ain't see shit, right? Anything about this? I kill you. Am I not being clear? You ain't see shit. Didn't believe a word. What you doing on the road yes. at this time of night anyway? Yeah. Yeah. How am I? Who reported a crime? Bro, I'm already out. I'm already gone. I'm already gone. It don't even matter. It don't even much matter. Who reported the crime? Bro, I caught the witness and laid hands on him. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. You about 32 cents? It'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take. Thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get a kill, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest... Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. That's how you run, bro. Come on, bro. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Missions like this, I uh, I don't really give a fuck about. Um, I feel like personally, they. Um, Easy boy, calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't they get there in time, true love may be Inflate shot. the game time. If she wants to rally. You gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I can't let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! What am I Fight this man? We must. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, 
Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> Fuck it. All right, Let's ladies. We know our song is a good one, and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. I wonder if I cut this whole part out of the video, which I'll do. wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the Now, now. Take, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the back of road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Oh, so Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good evening, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. That's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Equal, sir, fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. It's philosophy. Take what the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always love Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me. What? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Wait now. We gotta go before they get twice. Oh, Lord. Bring your ass home! It's an old battlefield no one goes to. What a land of the future! A land of equality! A land of progress! Land. I'm waiting on you, Bo. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasures. You know... Talking about, you know, Catherine 
Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right. You know, and Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that off. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is... Be late, but give me my motherfucking money. Oh, here. Your pay. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's holding in your hand Excuse mighty long. Me. video though but i think i'm about to record another one so i'll see you in a minute